A big time celebrity has decided to back the documentary about Albuquerque native and boxing world champion Johnny Tapia. Rapper 50 Cent has acquired the rights to the film, which is titled Tapia. The late boxer's family and the film's director hope his involvement will help to get national distribution for the documentary. Here's News 13's Lizay Mitri. Johnny! The five-time boxing world champion from Albuquerque struggled with drug addiction and trauma after his mother was raped and murdered when he was just eight years old. And I never forgot it, man. Never, never forgot it. It's a story told in Tapia's documentary that director Eddie Alcazar says rap star 50 Cent relates to. 50 Cent mother was also murdered and he grew up in kind of like this tragic um, area as well. In this video, 50 Cent also talks about his connection to boxing after launching his own boxing promotions company. Boxing is very similar to rap. It's the instincts, it's the training, it's the discipline that's involved with it. 50 Cent saw the Tapia documentary a month ago. Today, he and boxing promoter Lou DiBella own the rights to it. It's a big boost for the film as its creators still search for distributors. And the news comes a little more than a week after the one-year anniversary of Tapia's death. Here we are a year later, and instead of people forgetting, I mean, he's going on to new levels. Johnny's wife, Teresa Tapia, is excited about the collaboration and says she hopes to meet 50 Cent at the documentary's premiere in Los Angeles next week. The film's creators say they originally were just interviewing Tapia as research for a feature film on his life. Those interviews turned into a documentary when Tapia died at the age of 45. Teresa says she thinks her husband knew all along. He was saying goodbye. And there's key words through the whole documentary where he says, I've had a good life. It's been, you know, nice. It's almost like him looking back at his life through his eyes. Lizé Mitri, KRQE, News 13. There are plans to hold an Albuquerque premiere of the documentary, but no date has been set for that yet. You know,